friends, and welcome back again to Aunt Mikey's Place, a place where everyone gets to be a kid, and I am a kid alt collector of dolls, toys, and other fun stuff. Today, I have for you some Zuru Mini Brands Fashion. Um, these are the ones that contain things like purses. Um, apparently, there are unlim er, limited edition ones. These balls are made out of recycled plastic, and I love that about it. Um, these don't seem to have a series number on them, so I have no idea. So we're going to go ahead and open these. <clears throat> For all I know, these could be first series, and I'm going to get repeats of stuff I already have, but we'll see. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? Let's hear about it in the comments. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. <clears throat> uh, if you missed it, I recently also opened some Zuru plushie pets, and those were super cute. Um, I can guarantee I'll be having more of those. And so if you want to see more, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that button. What are you waiting for? All right, so these are misleading. They look like they're gold, but they are not. They are white, and the gold is just a wrapper, just like the plushy ones pretended to be purple. Where's the thingy? There it is. Ugh. Ta-da! <clears throat> what are your feelings on surprise toys? Do you like them? Hate them? Collect them? Just watch me vicariously open them. Boop. Boop. All right. We have a collector's guide and we have two packets. This is going to be our purse. <clears throat> I can feel it. We're creating some garbage. This is cute. Check this out. So we've got the mini fashion logo, and this one looks like it's been decorated with stickers. That's really neat. I love the straps. They're like a faux leather. There's the other side. We've got some really great stitching. There's a zipper here on top, and it's filled with paper to hold its shape. Oh. So we really have a cute bag there. Um, I apologize for the little blip there <laughs> as I was taking the paper out. I actually had some folks show up to do work on the house, and so we were interrupted. But there we go, and that was the bag. And we'll move on to the second packet. <clears throat> Find out what we have inside. Scoop all the things out. And we have this scarf which has the mini fashion logo on it, as well as this pinwheel pattern. Um, it's gold and with green and red border. The back is just white, um, and it's got a real nice hem on there. We also have some boots. These are cute. Now these might fit a Barbie. I don't think they're gonna fit my Disney IL wide owls. Let's let's check. We've got one right here. Let's burrow her foot. Let's stick the foot in there. Yeah, I think her feet are definitely too big. Her feet are way too big for these shoes. But these may fit on the Barbies. It's got some cute laces here that are actually cut through um through the boot top. That's pretty cute. The Bottom of the shoe is really nice. We've got some good hem stitching on there. So there we have those boots. And finally, we have a headband. It is brown with gold on it. Um, we have the mini fashion logo and that same pinwheel pattern that's on the scarf. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if that was intentional that they match, but all three of these items really do kind of match, and so does the purse. So we pretty much have a, a really nice little collection there 
of matching items, I would say. We're going to shift those over to the side. We'll save the collector, collector's guide till the very end. <clears throat> Ball number two. And then in addition to these, you I already had the video, did the video for um, the little plushies. And next up, I have sneakers. So that video will be coming up as well. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness. Ball number two. Let's adjust this just a little bit to get a better view. Sorry if the view was poor for some of the last one. That's what happens when you get interrupted in the middle of shooting. We have two packets. This one is bigger, so that's our accessories. This one feels like the handbag. Let's start with that. And we have blue. Take a look here. So this is a blue kind of quilted pattern or like a woven pattern, really. It's really kind of puffy. It's like layered. The strap says mini fashion in goals. I really like this color. It's very pretty. Um, this one does not have any kind of a snap on it. It feels like it might be a magnet. Yeah, it's a magnet. I can feel it grab. There's a magnet there and there's the inside. And again, we've got really nice stitching there. And I really like the way this feels, um, you know, with the two layers of material. And there's the back. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And we'll open up our second packet here and see what we've got inside. Oh, we've got more shoes. We have, we'll start with the shoes because they're the obvious. So we have some high top shoes here with the mini fashion logo. And we've got the pinwheel pattern. Again on there, these are white and gray with a pale blue bottom. Um, real laces and these are very small. So these might also fit Barbies because Barbie have pretty small feet. Um, they're definitely not gonna fit my Iowa doll so. And then we also have um, a teeny tiny lipstick, which I keep dropping, which does open up to reveal the lipstick inside. That's really cute. It's kind of a dark pink color. Bottom is gold and I like the clear top so you can see it through there. So if you're using that as kind of clutter in your dollhouse, that's pretty nice. And we also have a necklace. So this is silver with um, kind of a pattern of leaves there. And this um, being a necklace would work with any of your fashion dolls. So that's really cool. Flip it over there. We don't really have any um, kind of color detailing in there. It's just plain, just all silver, but that's not bad. That's really pretty. I like that as well. So. We don't have quite the matching collection we had with the first ball, but these are still very, very, very nice. So, so far so good. And dare I say, not duplicates. Um, let's open up our last mini fashions ball. We'll see if this one wants to cooperate with me. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, this one must be magical. We're gonna have good luck on this one, right? We're gonna get something like super rare. Probably not. But we could hope, we could hope, we could hope. I haven't been buying a lot of the um, surprise stuff lately. I'm trying to cut back on my overall spending because it was out of control for a while and the credit card, not so healthy at the moment. So I'm um, trying to get the credit card balance down to um, where I can pay it off every, all the time and, um, <clears throat> not be paying interest. 
So in the meantime, um, my videos will either have fewer things to review or there may be fewer videos. Um, if you do want to support me in continuing to create videos, um, the best way to do that is to go ahead and click like, click um, subscribe and share. Um, get more people to follow because um, honestly, monetizing may help. I don't know. I've never been so but I'm quite a ways off so I need more folks to subscribe and watch videos in order to reach that point because I'm not even close all right let's open this one up here Boop. and again this is our last ball for this video we've got another collector's guide we'll toss that over there and here's our accessories and our handbag Ooh. Let's find out what we've got inside. We have, oh no, this is the accessories. Oh, we're opening the accessories first. Oh, I've seen these before on other people's videos. We have tall black boots with a um, mini fashion logo there on the cuff. Um, these are completely black except for that. And again, these the shoes in these, um, this collection are very small so but they will fit barbies and we also have a belt with mini fashion as the uh as the buckle decoration there try to get the camera to focus and that is gold with black so it matches our boots and finally we have the nails which are gold and that's pretty cool. Hey, I only got one of those, so I'm I'm cool with that. That's fine. Now let's see what kind of handbag we got. I can't believe I totally didn't figure out which one was which. I usually get it on the first try. Let's find out. What have we got? Ooh, this is nice. So we've got a white and black, kind of a, a slightly off-white, but um, with black and gold. Um, we've got a lovely strap there. That looks really nice. Let's open it up. Oh, we have to pull it out of there. That's pretty cool. And check out the inside. We have paper in there holding its shape. We'll leave that in there for now. And close it back up if I can. Oh, that's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. All right, maybe I'll leave it not closed up. Okay, so already finding a problem here <laughs> is that it's not wanting to go back into a uh, clasp. So we're gonna leave that alone for right now and I'll fiddle with it later. And there's the back. We have this black strap going up and over that goes into the gold clasp. Um, we have black detailing on the edges really good stitching once again it's what we expect from mini fashion so there's our last set this one also very very nicely color coordinated i am not at all centered there we go very nicely color coordinated on this set as well so out of our three what did you like the best um I'm going to go ahead and say this bag is my favorite item of everything. I just really love the detailing on this one. It's super cute. Um, I do like that one quite a lot. Um, yep, that's definitely my favorite out of everything. It's the most the thing that would be most my style that I might actually use in real life. This is a little bit too fancy for me. I'm not fancy. And, but this one's cute too. Um, so I really like all this. This is a great, great little haul. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And until next time, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and I will see you again.